what's up y'all so it's been a long awaited video this is my stash of hair products right here i don't know why my hat is in here i canceled on my birthday party at the club because i guess i just needed something different Showing off up in a room with people I don't even know. Um, I've already thing. taken my face products off the top of this, but we are about to clean up and get rid of stuff that I know I'm never gonna use again. Um, get rid of things that don't work for me, get rid of things that are empty. And I just wanted to like show you as I went through it because a lot of y'all are probably like, I wonder what her stash looks like. I'm not one of those people who like to build a whole bunch of stuff up and save it. So most of my products are more than halfway used. Like as you can see, I barely have anything left in here. But it's still some scraps for me to use. And uh, yeah, about to get rid of most of this shit. There's a lot of like silicone products that I have in here that I got sent that I know I'm not gonna use every day in my life. Or there's some products that just didn't work for me. So we gonna go through this. Um, and one thing about it is I do have to go through my makeup stuff too, which is over in my desk area. But we gonna do that without showing you because I don't even know what's in there. So yeah, let's get into cleaning this stuff up. And I'm gonna put everything that I'm never gonna use in this bag because They've already been opened, they've already been used, so I'm not gonna give them to somebody else. I have Camille Rose, of course I'm gonna keep that stuff. These are mostly, these are actually quite full. I don't use Camille Rose too often. Um, so these are really full. I still have some conditioner of the Manuka Honey line left. Um, some body lotion from Shea Moisture and some body wash. These are my favorites, these are currently what I'm using actually. So I use the Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Body Wash um, and the Hydrating Body Lotion, and it's for dry skin. It has frankincense and mira, mira, mira in it. Um, I'm definitely not gonna use this African Black Soap Toner. It hurts my face. I don't use toner, actually. Um, but... I used to use witch hazel, but these toners are way too strong for my face. My, my skin is way sensitive. Um, this Olay Luminous Miracle Boost Concentrate, so good, but I can't get any more out because it's at the bottom. I've been trying, and it's like one of those little suckers. Like, it has a little pop top, yeah. And it smells so good. And this is when I did the 60 day, uh, 30 day challenge or 21 day challenge with Olay. I did that like maybe a year and a half ago. Um, so they sent me the, actually I did it right after I graduated college and they sent me these products. So I am gonna keep the hydrating lotion. Um, I'm gonna keep this and see if I can get stuff out of it. We'll see. This is the Botanics. This line is actually from Target, I hate this one specifically this is a uh mat not a mask a scrub and it's way too strong for my skin this is the invigorating face scrub shine away uh this is spot treatment I'm not gonna use that my mud mask i'm definitely keeping that noxema you can go in the trash as you can see i haven't used it and it's starting to crack and separate from the sides so, i mean it's oh um, I have my apricot scrub. I'm definitely keeping that. My stubborn face wash. I'm not gonna keep that. Pulse shave balm. Never had that in the first place. Soothing eye cream. My cellar cleansing water. Turmeric bar soap. Um, I got two of these. So curl shampoo. Detangling leave-in conditioner for sure keeping. Um, I'm definitely keeping my Criminal Nature Pure Honey line. As you can tell, I'm already basically out of the conditioner. It's at the very bottom. But I do have lots of shampoo. I hate having lots of shampoo. Um, I also have this gel right here, which is the coconut gel. I'm gonna combine these two because they're the same. Uh, my curl maker 
Um, the clean machine, this is by Tyra Beauty. I'm definitely gonna throw that away. I don't use it. I'm literally getting rid of everything I don't use. This is the moisture, I mean the um, Problem Skin Moisturizer by Shea Moisture. I really just didn't like their old African Black Soap line and I bought them with my own money. And the new one is way fucking better. So I have the new one, which is this one. And this is the Bamboo Charcoal, African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating Jelly Moisturizer with Aloe. And this is so bomb. But this right here is the Black Soap for Problem Skin Moisturizer with Tamarin Extract and Tea Tree Oil. And I hate it. It's so old though. So I'm gonna throw it away. It's, I don't like the smell or anything. Like, ugh. I got the Soothing Toner and Hydrating Mist. I actually like this toner, which is crazy because I don't usually like toners. Had to make sure you're still recording. Um, and then I have the Botanics Shine Away um, Mattifying Toner. This one actually has clay in it, so like when you you have to shake it up because it will separate trash. Um, Michael Todd Cleansing Honey and Oat Daily Cleanser. I'll keep that. Aveeno Moisturizer. I'm not gonna keep that. Botanics. I'm not gonna keep that. Cerave. Get a new one. My bad, y'all. My computer died, camera shut off, so we back. And if you don't know already, the water challenge first day is today, the 7th. So if you're trying to get on it, get your gallon. Doing it for a whole month. Um, this is the bamboo charcoal defoxi defoxify, detoxifying um, foaming facial wash. This one is actually good. I don't know if it's still good. Looks like charcoal been sitting on the bottom for a minute, but I'm gonna keep it. Um, I'm throwing away all these botanics. Fuck botanics. Fuck what they talking about. This is actually my favorite line that Shea Moisture has made for skin so far. The green coconut activated charcoal moisturizing jelly cream with white tea. Smells so good. It smells kind of like, um, I don't even know how to explain the smell. The smell is so good. But my son emptied out my whole in shower face mask. I was pissed. Um, throwing away this old set of film. This is the Olay Regenerous Luminous Overnight Mask. I'm probably gonna keep this. Um, definitely gonna keep that. It's just like a moisturizer. It's not even really a mask. This is the Jojoba Charcoal Facial Scrub in, with the Michael Todd. And I actually got this when I got my cleansing brush but that brush was way too hard for my skin i had to get rid of that shit um botanics uh vino this is the transforming clay to cream cleanser with masha green tea and probiotics with milk thistle and it's for redness prone skin this is along with the smoothing eye cream and the jelly so no 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 they're not it's with the smoothing eye cream, and that's where I got my mug from, actually. Shea Moisture, thank you. I love y'all. And then I have the Bamboo Charcoal Body Scrub. It's gone. I'm gonna throw that away. And this is the Micellar Water. Um, I'm just gonna keep it, because I do like Micellar Water anyway. And this is actually a very good Micellar Water, so if you're looking for one, Olay is a good one, along with the Garnier Skin Care skin active micellar cleansing water um and then i have some natural body splash this is probably bad so i'm gonna go with peri pineapple so so far these are all facial products in here that i am not gonna keep that's dead and uh we're gonna go through my hair stuff now so usually i would go ahead and get rid of these but i need to use the last little bit of this because i can use it um, I have two of the Curl Control Jellies by Blueberry Bliss, so I'm gonna just combine them. I combine the hell out of some items, okay? To conserve space. I wonder how long this is gonna take to come out though, because it's moving pretty slow. Lord, just come on. Wow, really? Bro! All right, this is what we're doing. Yes, okay, here we go. Lord! Just so you know, this Curl Blueberry Bliss um, Control Jelly is very thick. 
It's so thick that it's still moving slow as hell. Viscous. It's viscosity is very thick. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna throw this out of the way because that's taking too long. Uh, so I'm gonna put my gels and stuff to one area. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and combine it. So I have my toothbrush that I use for my edges and I'm just gonna scrape it in there. And I think this is actually one of my least favorite eco gels, the um, coconut one, because it flakes so freaking bad. But it's pretty. They've been making some pretty gels now. What is this? It's a no sis. That's what it is. And I have everything separated out. So like this is where my creams and stuff are for styling. And then I have my shampoos to the left and my conditioners to the right. And then I have my gels and stuff of that nature down here. And then I have my deep conditioners, leave-ins, and edge controls in the bottom. So like I said before, I have a lot of eco style like empty containers. So I'm gonna get rid of them. This one. Um, ooh, this is one of my favorite creams I've ever had. This is by Briogeo. This is the Curl Charisma Chia and Flaxseed Coil Custard. If you haven't tried it yet, go try it out. It's so good. It smells good too. And you honestly don't, you not even honestly, you don't need a gem at all. Um, this is the curl cocktail. I'll keep it. This is Brayden's curling cream for the baby. This is some oil in the wrong spot. This is my favorite oil so far. This could it's supposed to be cacao nibs. It's not cocoa nibs, but cacao nibs and honey. Um, for this is ultimate growth serum, Arabic Brahmi, and all my oils are in here. So this will make your hair grow and shine for sure. Um, this is definitely going in the trash. This is Sasha Inchi Omega 369 Re Re Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie with Quinoa and Rolls of Jericho Extracts. It smells so bad. It smells like old lady. Oh my God, I cannot, like, cannot. Uh, my daily hair dressing. Y'all have heard how much I rave about this. I'm definitely keeping it. Um, I have slim pickings, but it's still something there. Twist and shout cream. I have two of these. Let me go ahead and combine. No reason for me to have two. And there's really nothing to fucking combine. There's nothing in here. I live and swear by the Curls Blueberry Bliss line, guys. I promise. They were actually the first company that contacted me to work with them. It's pretty cool. Um, and then I have this mango butter daily hair dressing. Um, honestly, I got it because I wanted to see what it did with Brayden's hair. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it again, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. Cause it does have shea butter and coconut oil in it. The only problem would probably be like the petroleum, but that's not even really a problem if you use shampoo to wash your hair. Um, I'll probably use it. And then I have the brown butter melt. This is good stuff, y'all. I used this in my hair the last time I did it. In this. My hair has been so soft. The curly meringue, um, it's dope. I'm gonna keep that. I am gonna throw away my beautiful textures um, because I've had these for a good four or five years and there's no point in me keeping it if I'm not gonna use it. Coconut Waterline by Camille Rose, dope, dope. Oh, and this right here, this is the black Jamaican castor oil leave-in conditioner. Most of them are very thick at this point to where they're like a cream. Mine is so freaking watery, I don't like it. So I haven't used it because it was, it's like, it's watery. I don't, I don't even have to explain it. Curl Enhancing Smoothie, y'all know I live by, swear by. Keeping, keeping, not even a question, I'm keeping it. This was the first line that I used when I went natural. I'm all for the declutter life, you feel me? I think everybody should have a decluttered life because how the fuck do you get things done in a cluttered house? Cause I can't get anything done. My mind does not work. My brain doesn't work, nothing. Curl Enhancing Smoothie is a go. Um, this is the Fresh Curl um, Revitalizing Hair Smoother. I have, I really don't know how well it works. Like I can't really get a gist of it yet. I don't know why. Um, Pillow Soft Curls, uh, it's really dope. Really good, really good products. Miss Jessie has a really good line. The Pantene Gold Series, 
Um, second ingredient is mineral oil. It's a no. I got sent these classy coils um, hair milk. I need to try it. I'm glad I just found it. Okay, this smells really good. Why have I not used this? And I have the Sacred Tiara, tiara um, 4 in 1 Combing Cream. Getting rid of Curl Defining Cream. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of this. I have to try this one out one more time. What? Mixed Chicks leave in conditioner back there? I don't even know if this is good anymore. 18 months. Heck no, it's not good. This is a cruelty free and vegan product, so it definitely expires. Pay attention to your expiration dates. They are on the back. On the back, right there. They're the little the little symbol that says the month. Can you see it? The month, right there. And if it's a vegan product, it needs to be thrown away. Okay, we on bag two now, y'all. Getting rid of shit. And then I have some moisture whip, whip twisting cream from the Cream of Nature line. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. At Okay, as you can see, it looks totally different now. <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like when they're done. So let's move on to this section, which is crazy. Um, this is, this leave-in is dope, it's bomb. I'm gonna keep that for sure. Uh, this is the avocado and uh, almond shampoo, and I have the leave-in with it, so I'm gonna keep those, because I do like it, I like the smell. This is the Nourish Spa Conditioner. Um, it's not, it's not curly girl method friendly. It does have silicone and so it does have silicones in it, but it works really well. The slip is really good. So if you don't care about silicones, definitely pick this one up. I'm going to keep it. The low porosity conditioner, which is protein free. Um, how do I feel about it? I hate the smell. I just don't like tea tree oil smell on me. Like I don't like the smell continuously on me. So it's like, and it kind of burns a little bit. Like if you get it in your eyes, it's over with for you. I've been in the shower with these products, but your hair works so much better after you use it. It works on your hair. You just need to get a better smell. The Blueberry Bliss, like I said, I swear by. That's the shampoo. And this is the protein shampoo also. So I have both. And then I have a packet. I have a few packets. Nope, that's a 4K gold. Um, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restoring Treatment Mask. I do love the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line that they have now. Um, but like I said before, that leave-in that I had, it was very watery. It was not the consistency that I wanted at all. And it was one of the first, one of the first, um, that was the first time that they released that product. So the product is totally different now. They've redone it. It's thicker. It's not watery at all. And it works. So if you're looking for some added strength and moisture, get that one. Jamaican Black Castor Oil, baby. Um, this is the Jansen Moisture Max Conditioner. So fucking good, okay? When I went, <laughs> when I did the video with them, I used this and I was like, oh shoot. But it's so thick that it's hard to get out. Like super hard to get out. You're gonna have some problems. This is the Moroccan Pear um, Conditioning Custard. I only have a little bit left in it. Uh, it's also very good. Not as thick. This is the Miracle Curls Aussie Moist Conditioner. Works so well. Um, I used the 3 Minute Miracle Mask and I used the Aussie Moist. Um, so this was like a pleasant surprise that it was kind of the same thing. And if, if you're like an OG to my channel, then you know I used to have the pump of that big ass shit. So yeah, you know how I feel. I don't care if that's silicone or something. Pantene Gold Series Miracle Boost um, Conditioner. I am not gonna keep this. I don't know why I would. Okay, this had this gave me a problem. So Classy Hair sent me these products, right? And this one is the cleansing shampoo. It does separate. It is definitely um, an all-natural product. You have every ingredient. But when they sent this with the products, like. What if I didn't know that this was 
supposed to be a mask? What if I didn't know what to do? What if I didn't know what to mix it with? It has no instructions, nothing on it. So like I've never used it. I don't know if I want to because I don't really know what's in it. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what is in my product. I don't know. I know this is a clay mask, but what type of clay is it? It can't, is it bentonite clay? Um, like what is it? So I'm gonna, debating on keeping this, like debating super hard. I'm gonna slide that over there. Um, the cleansing shampoo is pepperminty as fuck. Like that's all I can say, so pepperminty. But I'm keeping it. This is the strengthening and restoring shampoo. This is a cleansing shampoo. Prime example of a cleansing shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo. You use this to cleanse your, cleanse everything out of your hair and you will use this to keep the moisture. This is one of the weirdest products I've ever gotten. This is a green coconut activated charcoal purifying, hydrating, exfoliating hair mud with white tea and lemon balm. It smells so good, y'all. But it's weird. So weird. It's such a weird consistency. It's like a, it's like a facial scrub with jelly. Like, but I'm keeping that because I try to use it once. I know I have to use it differently. This is my travel bottle of the Curl and Shine Shampoo. I have the Sweet Ginger Camille Rose Rinse. And I have another reparative wash of Kohl's. So I'm gonna combine. Let's see if this moves quicker. And it does, and we're off for a race. Yes, get there, get there. The Hydrating and Repairing Shampoo. Honestly, like I said before, I do love this line. I just don't like the smell. I feel like it smells like old people. I can't do that smell. Okay, this is one of the lines that I was talking about. I'm never gonna use this. Head and shoulder, I mean, Herbal Essence is not for curly hair, so throw the whole body away. Um, this is in shower foam conditioner. It probably would be cool as fuck to use, but no, it's not for our hair. So I'm not gonna use it at all. And then I have, I got sent these Nature Queen um, shampoo and conditioners. Um, it was straight, but I, I'm good. I liked it at the time. And then the Moisture Boost shampoo, also in the trash. And now I can put these up. Sacred, sacred tiara shampoo also now let's get into the uh, deep conditioners leave-in conditioners edge controls i got a water bottle that i don't use anymore that i can throw the fuck away go to the dollar store get you a water bottle easy peasy i got the honey hydrate leave-in collection I really feel like this is more of a gel, so I'm gonna put these with the gels, cause after I use it, it's definitely a gel. Um, I have my Style Factor Edge Controls. If you have not been gotten onto Style Factor yet, please do, their Edge Booster is bomb. I also have the First Touchdown Edge Control, and if you have it, follow me on Instagram. Then you don't know yet that I am in the stores. They have put me in the stores using this product. So, if you see me, Say hey, take a picture of some. I have the Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Edge Treatment. This is not edge control by far. This is a cream, like not a cream, but more of a jelly type of thing. If you are looking to grow your edges, please go get you some. This is the Jamaican Black Cash Oil line, the newer one. And I also have the Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold. It smells good. Um, I have the Hydrate Repair Split End Balm. Yeah, yeah. I actually love this. This works. For sure works. The Hydrate and Repair Protein Treatment Mask. If you are needing some protein treatment and you don't want a extreme protein treatment like the Aphigy line, go pick up this one. This one works. Your hair will be popping. The frizz will be gone. I have the Camille Rose Algae Renew deep, treat, deep Conditioner. I only have a little bit left in here. I literally have to scrape the bottom for the rest of this. 
this is the moisture and shine the hold and shine moisture mist this is very sticky to me i don't like it i don't like using it i don't know if i'm doing it wrong um i probably am but i'm gonna try it again just once I ain't gonna try it after that. This is the Saker TRA leave-in conditioner. I do like the leave-in conditioners that are spray bottles because it's a lot easier for me. And then I apply my cream on top and then my gel. So if you are looking for layering products and stuff like that, get that. If you don't need moisture in your leave-in, get the spray. Ooh, Hair Credible. Y'all, y'all know about Hair Credible. Y'all know how I feel about it. Y'all know how I feel about the my boss lady. She just had her baby too, so go congratulate her. She's a mom of six, like what? And she looks damn good. But this is the Rich Argan Oil Smoothie Conditioner. So good, so good, so good. That's why I leave like a little bit because like sometimes I'll use it as a leave-in. This is the Blissful Links Liquid Hair Growth Vitamins. Yeah, I never finished that. Oh wow, I have an open one. Oh, that whole thing will be. This is beautiful texture, it's going in the trash. These are the other leave-in collection. This is the uh, seal and soften. I really think this is more like an oil and this is more like the leave-in while this is the um, gel. So I'm gonna treat them as such. So this goes with the leave-ins. I have the, uh, there's nothing in there. It was jojoba oil. And then I have the Hair Credible Argan Oil Shea Butter Mask. Love it. This is like my second or third one. So like I'm trying to preserve it so I don't have to buy more. I absolutely hate this mask right here. This is the Diva Curl Heaven and in Hair Intense Moisture Treatment. I hate it. It does not. It does not make my hair soft. It doesn't. It doesn't melt any of my curls and tangles. None of that. Um, this is the coconut water hair mask. So fucking good. Then I have this deep treatment i'm definitely gonna throw this away old and this is the whole one i'm definitely gonna throw that away it's old let me go ahead and get rid of this eating body huh this is the curls unleashed for kids brayden loved this we actually did a video on this there's only a little bit left in here so i'm not even gonna hold it but he has other stuff um this is the leave-in coconut water i actually forgot i freaking had this i'm glad that i do and it's almost full so i'm definitely gonna be using this this is the cheese silk infusium um infusion this is something a product that i swear by when i straighten my hair that's how my hair used to be so silky and good so i'm gonna not not even gonna keep that um, I'm actually gonna keep this silk infusion because just in case. And then I got the Kenra Kenra Platin, Platinum Blow Dry Spray because I heard so such good things about it back when I used to straighten my hair. So I got that and I'm gonna keep it. Um, these are things that I got sent through Influencer, I believe. Um, Park Avenue Blow Blow Bomb, no. Um, IGK, no. That's dead. What's this? And I got this beauty protector, protect and detangle leave-in conditioner, no. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all these back. Everything that I use to like finish my hair off goes down here also. So edge control all day. All right, now let's get on to the gels. The gels, the gels, the gels. The gels that I have are the Camille Rose Butter Gel, which is a cream gel. It's not gonna give you a hard finish. It's definitely soft, super moisturizing. Um, I do have Kinky Curly Custard. Um, I've had this for a very long time. I think, yes, it doesn't even smell like anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. If I want to buy some more, I will. Um, I also have empty eco, like I told y'all, I always have empty eco thinking I'm gonna be able to use the corners or something and then they drop it out. Um, I have the eco um, protein in eight hold. This one actually smells like raspberries. So if you don't know that, now you know. Um, that's gone. 
I have another one of the um, aloe whipped butter gels. And then I have the Eco in 10 hold protein in 10 hold. It's actually called Super Protein. Uh, I got sent these two products and I don't like them. Um, these are the Pure Flaxseed Gels to soften and repair hair, one for each. This one has aloe and this one and rose hip and this one has argan oil. Um, the This one is lemon cream scent and the other one is rose. I don't like them because they don't define my hair. Like the things that a gel is supposed to do, it does not do. And it makes my hair actually feel more dry. So like, yeah. Don't get me wrong though, the people who work for the company are very good people. Like, very nice. I love them. Never had any problems. Let me go get another bag. Ooh, I was actually thoroughly surprised with this gel right here from the Shea Moisture Coconut Oil line. So good. Keeps your hair moisturized. Um, coconut oil gel, trash. Tresemme, trash. I got all I got the Tresemme gels when I was looking for a new gel. I think I want to try it again. But I don't know. This is the Flawless Curls one and this is Ultra Firm Control. Maybe I'm going to keep them just to try them one more time. Uh, trash. Uh, this biotin infused style gel, styling gel from uh, the main choice. The main choice has the perfect products for any type of natural hair to keep it moisturized. And then I have the curl defining style. It comes with my beautiful textures that I've had for about what actually I've had those since like I've graduated high school. That's a long time because I graduated college a few years ago already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back up. Alright, so I have finished cleaning up my little area. Um, that's my filming stuff over here, so like my nail polish is right. Alright y'all, so my camera died on me. So I'm about, to sh I'm about to put these up really quick so I can get those out the way. These are just my facial products and stuff that I decided to keep. So I'm going to put these up right here where they go. Alright, so that's done. And now I have a clean area now. Wow. Um, and now I'm gonna just clean up my my area over here, like get rid of the makeup and stuff. I'm not really gonna film that because it's, just, it's gonna take way longer. I have so much. Y'all see what's on my desk? Just imagine what's in my drawers, and I have a case right there with all my makeup. But that is, this is all that I'm getting rid of. And that doesn't include the stuff that's in my bathroom. This is just like my stash. How to get my stash situated. Cause I'm just trying to clean. I have to clean all of this. So once it looks clean, I'll be straight to film on a regular basis. Feel what I'm saying? That's all that I've been waiting to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you my stash and me going through it and telling you about the products that I like and also, you know, seeing what I was throwing away because I don't like to keep a lot of clutter. So I try my best to not do so. So yeah, let me know if y'all want to see more videos like that or if you want to see like what my actual stuff looks like after I'm done like decluttering if you want to see like that type of thing I can definitely make that for you but thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe to my channel there will be a lot more videos this year obviously and also remember to like this video if you liked it remember to comment down below if you want to see any videos that you have in mind okay all right love y'all bye Cancel on my birthday party at the club Cause I guess I just needed something different